Hi Air Science, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do your October weekly messages for the 1st through the 7th, okay? So I'm going to do Aquarius, Libra, and then Gemini. I couldn't do them separately, so um, I did it this way. And it turned out to be an awesome idea. I use uh, every single card is a different oracle and a tarot, so it came out pretty awesome. All right, so Aquarius, we're going to start with you, my love. Um, we do have the tower with the ten of bats, okay? With the tower and the ten of bats, which is the ten of swords, this is like something that went to shit. Something went down, you hit rock bottom, some shit hit the fan, right? Like, uh, this could have been a, a shock or a surprise, something that caught you off guard that happened where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening, or why this why that like something some major transformation it could be anything hard times ahead right this is what it could mean maybe you're going to have a hard week or maybe you're going to find something out about whatever and then it just you know upsets you for some reason um we do have the card that came out is thorns okay it says, uh, thorns, weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. This is accepting things, you know, when, as they go, going with the flow, whether they're good and bad. And when you do that, you see, you bring in new and a positive future, which is true. You see with the sun rising in the background, knowing that there's, you know, thorns around, like you could be going through obstacles and it could be painful and hard. But yet the sun is what keeps you going. The illumination, knowing that there's a better better thing on the other side. Nothing lasts forever, right? No pain or suffering lasts forever. So I feel like with these hard times, you're going to be understanding that certain things happen and that it will pass. We do have a meditation along with solitude. So to me, these two cards represent, you know, uh, having some time for yourself to gather your thoughts, your energy, take some time to yourself to to ground and stable yourself, meditate, uh, clear your mind of anything, any negative influences or thoughts. Really look within, reach your higher self, uh, speak to spirit and universe. Um, this could be you learning things on your own. Uh, you could be looking up certain energy waves or certain things that happen planetary wise or uh, it could be anything. This is you. This is spirit advising you to have some time for yourself like the solitude card and finding time to meditate to make yourself feel good within and out during these um, hard times that you have to endure. Um, do whatever it takes for you to find solace, okay, to get you through. Um, we do have the Oracle card that came out for you as Graveyard. The Graveyard card talks about unnecessary fear. So if there's something going on that's bringing you in anxiety because of the things that are happening, it's telling you not to worry. It's, it's not necessary for you to worry yet. Yeah, things suck when it happens. But this is telling you to put it to rest, to look to the future. Nothing is set in stone, okay? Nothing is set in stone. You could say goodbye to the to the bad times when it passes you by. Just think of it as a wave of holy shit, okay? And you're just like, okay, I accept that, and I look, I look towards a better day <laughs> or a better week. But I'm just saying, I mean, this could resonate any other week or month, whatever. It's just the messages that come out for these days. You know, so it's unnecessary, ne unnecessary fear, no need to worry or anything like that. This too shall pass is what I'm hearing. Um, the last card that we have here is the Three of Cups. So once everything has passed by, you're uh, hiding away from the world, right? <laughs> With solitude, hiding from the world or whatever. You're able to come out and celebrate. Celebrating everything that you went through. Celebrating your survival. It could be going out. After all that you've been through, going out with your friends and your family, uh, finding some time to really just get out there and start something new or to celebrate something 
or just to go out for drinks because you know have a hard time this could be you literally going to the bars or having wine at home to yourself or with your friends or your family and just saying you know what i need i need a drink let's have a drink there's some shit that i'm going through right <laughs> all right so that was for aquarius libra we have the wish card make a wish it says your heart's desire is ready to come true whatever that you've been waiting for or wanting spirit and universe is giving you the opportunity to make a wish and that is what you're going to be achieving and getting so be careful what you wish for uh we do have the personal power card okay this is you really having the power and the strength to get through any trials and tribulations. This is you um, enduring hard times or enduring anything that you've been through where you felt like you were left out in certain things because you didn't have enough or because, you know, just having the power to endure some fucked up shit, having the power to endure anything because you are... Libra, you're the scale. You balance yourself out no matter what. And that's what makes you very powerful. Then we have um, fulfillment of, wow, fulfillment of wishes, right? There's second confirmation. What are the odds? The wish card and the fulfillment of wishes. So you will be fulfilling the wish that you made. Yay! <laughs> Your abundance runs over. Look at the waterfalls here and that treasure chest. It's like spirit is giving you a wish, giving you whatever it is that you want because of the power that you held w enduring whatever life threw at you. So spirit is like, you know what? You deserve a gift for your bravery, for your strength, and for all your hard work that you put to in trying to survive and, and getting through it, right? So that's amazing. I like that. I think it's absolutely lovely. Then we have the oracle card, or not the oracle cards, the um, tarot cards that we have for you is the Queen of Cups, the Star, and the Six of Wands reversed. So I feel like after a period of not achieving things, of probably feeling like you failed at certain things, or you felt like you haven't accomplished much, I feel like that's going to pass you by. So with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you have been... You know, you're someone who's very loving, giving, very motherly. Maybe you just became a mother. Um, something with the wish card. You see that? Here's Let's talk about wish granted, the star card. Something's going to be illuminated, handed to you. Something that is going to be brought to the surface that's going to emotionally fulfill you. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel like you have it all, right? So after a, a period of not being able to get what you want or or failing in something or just feeling like you haven't you know accomplished enough that's going to be given to you by spirit because you've endured things and and you've proven yourself worthy of your survival of your patience of your loyalty and of your love so it's definitely universe mama and daddy up above are going to be you know giving you a little gift so congratulations um the oracle card that came out for you is the spider this is talking about community and web weaving so if there's something that you've been wanting to create uh this is going to be the perfect time for you any wish fulfillments anything that you know i feel like you are very tinkerish where you're like a little tinker fairy kind of like tinkerbell creating and making your own things making it happen if somebody comes and disrupts your web you're able to create that and make that again because you're a spider and you work good solo i feel like you do best when you're by yourself you're able to make things you're to create them to bring them to life i feel like with this card here spirit is telling you to bring your ideas and everything out into the world so people could see it and that will bring you abundance okay all right so for gemini gemini we have the key card okay it says new beginnings directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past you have you have the key here all it takes is for you to let go of the past and and put that in unlock it and new beginnings occur to you it's all about you walking away from the old okay do not fall back to old ways 
also we have inspiration you see that something's going to inspire you to move forward to start something new this is like to be inspired by a whole new way of living and just feeling like really good about the future and, and new changes we have here accelerated motion this is like moving forward with what you want looking up to the sky wishing upon a star wishing for new beginnings wishing for things to change for help for action for love it could be anything but like i said you hold the key all it all it takes is for you to walk away from the past or and nothing that's been serving you we have the chariot reversed this is not this is like spirit stopping you from moving forward in something because we have the devil card. This is temptation. This is low vibrational energies. This could represent a Capricorn in your life. This could represent someone who's very negative, who stops you from moving forward, who stops you from getting your abundance, who just stops you from doing anything. The reason why I say that is because we have the hangman. The hangman is, is all about seeing things from a different point of view. Uh, something being stopped, something being paused. It's like universe is stopping you, right? Someone could be delaying you. It could be a devil or a Capricorn here that's stopping you from moving forward or stopping you from um, from opening or unlocking new beginnings or a new way of living. I feel like this is the old that you need to walk away from right here. See that? You have the key. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. See? adventures and directions with the chariot this is direction it's upside down it awaits you okay you got to let go of the past of that devil energy so it can flip over and you can move forward with those adventures and those new beginnings you have the key it's all about you okay so please take note of that the oracle card that came out for you is the skull of darkness and this is blind spots. This is talking about the blind spots, the things that you do not see. Make sure that you always see things from, oh, like with the hangman, from a different point of view. See things for what they are. Always make sure to read between the lines, to read between the shadows, the darker spots that you're not, that you miss, that you that you see as that you don't see at all actually so make sure that you're looking at things from every single point of view so you can get um so you can get a better outlook of what you're up against and what you are dealing with so if there's something that you're not seeing it's because you are closed off to it or you choose not to see it um so make sure that you open your mind and you work on your clarification so that so that you're able to bring those to to light okay all right, so there you go, um, Air Science. This was your weekly message for October. Give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in your next video.